Hi everyone, I'm Jen from MrandMrsPose.com. One of my students has asked me to do a little video um, breaking down our beginner's variation, our supported handstand. Um, this is so that she can practice a little bit at home, but also so that when she comes to class to practice the pose with us, she's not sort of overwhelmed with all of the detail. So before you do um, any sort of pose like this, it's really important to um, consult your teacher and your medical practitioner, but also to recognize that maybe as adults we have a little bit of fear about going upside down. We have a little bit of fear of these kinds of poses. When we were kids, really easy to throw ourselves around, but as adults, we might be able to hurt ourselves or we don't do this every day like we used to. So bearing that in mind, it's really, really um, positive to introduce into inversions into your practice. Um, it's obviously strengthening and really quite good for the systems to uh, work against gravity. But it's also actually psychologically a great new perspective on the world. So to try this pose, we come with the tops of the feet to the floor, toes brushing your wall, coming into a child's pose. We reach the hands all the way forward into extended child's pose. And then looking between the thumbs, we walk these hands back. It's usually about between half to one hand length. It depends a little bit on your height, your torso length. And don't be surprised if you have to adjust this a couple of times, coming all the way out the first few times. So now we press the hands into the mat, flattening the hands, particularly the base of the index fingers, tucking toes and coming into a downward dog with the heels pressing against the wall, the toes away from the wall, and you'll notice, hopefully, that my feet are together. So I'm already establishing this core line, this plumb line, yeah? And now to establish the distance up the wall that we will be stepping, we tuck our, foot, our toes up the wall. The most common thing that you see in this pose is to go too high or too low. So what we want to do is tuck our knee in behind our base leg knee, tuck the toes and place the foot against the wall. So we're shooting for this height for both feet firmly together. To do this, I push into the wall, stepping my other foot up to meet it, and my, my feet are together, my hands are pressing into the mat, and my shoulders are heading towards the wall. A beautiful inversion. To come out of this pose, take one big step down. We come out the way we came in. Downward dog. Knees to the mat. Keep the head low. Hips to the heels, child's pose. And then slowly bring yourself up. It's important to come up slowly. It's important to rest a little bit at the end. Um, you don't want to make yourself feel unwell by coming up too quickly. And we're notorious for trying to rush these things. So maybe try a little uh, supported hand handstand at home. Um, but better still, come and practice with us online, Mr. and Mrs. Pose .com. Namaste.